Okay, so today I've got to extend the cover here partly for during the wet season so that we can clean out of the rain and also probably more importantly so that we can load the trailer with the cardboard boxes out of the rain so they don't get wet. And the other use is if I get into trouble this is where Angela will send me. Started a pilot hole there, now I've got to work out right angles. And my lovely assistant here is going to help me. <laughs> what I need. Hello. That's me. <laughs> I'm the assistant. <laughs> lovely assistant. So, ah, so four meters this way. So on this string line, I've put a mark that's four meters along the string line. Then we've measured from that far post over there, down here, five meters and then you adjust the string line and the tape measure until they're above one another and that gives that corner a perfect right angle so it's three four five either three foot four foot five foot three meters four meters five meters or multiples of smarty pants <laughs> sometimes this is I suspect been compacted for when they did the shed because there's a real crust at the top not helped by being extremely dry I'm gonna like start little pilot holes and then I'm gonna put water in them maybe leave them overnight so don't be doing this sort of work when it's hot like this Then, then you tamp it down, and because it's bone dry, what's this? It all falls out again. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. This could take a while. Another two post holes dug for the shed extension. <laughs> And one, one dip in the pool. <laughs> I think you might be sizzling there. Oh, man, it's hot. Next morning now, holes are dug out. And then I've got to get this mixed with this and into these. We've had three mils of rain overnight. It, has moistened the ground enough that it's not going to quickly draw out the moisture from the concrete that I put in. That's the holes filled in. Cover these up now with plastic so that they dry slowly. And then next week we'll be putting the uh, post anchors in. Concrete's had a couple of days to go off, so now I've got to 
start and drill for the anchor bolts for the foot stirrups for the posts. Post anchors are in. Just waiting for the timber to rock up now. This year's project, hopefully. Angela's been nagging me for um, quite a while to get this done. Problem with wearing glasses <laughs> when it's hot and humid like this is um, you drip sweat all over them. And if, when you're looking down, they slide down your, <laughs> slide down your nose. Right, lunch time. Timber turned up yesterday afternoon. So, knock off from, from pruning and, and get stuck into some construction work. Go through with, I think this is about 8 mil drill bit to drill a pilot hole through the, through the anchor stirrups and then run through with the 12 mil. surprisingly quickly I think no, it isn't. I thought that it would take days weeks to do this shed construction I wanted all the woodwork done today so we've got one more of the big panels to put in and then that will be it for today it's currently half five so it's way past beer o'clock time yeah this could be a little bit wonky yeah <laughs> 
going up ladders with drills and heavy pieces of wood after a beer, what could possibly go wrong? At least it won't be as painful if we fall off the ladders. <laughs> oh, man. Ming, ming, ming. <laughs> ming, 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 ming. Oh dear, Stompy. I think maybe it's time to knock off. Well, spent this morning finishing off, putting the last couple of uprights up, um, making sure everything is square, going around, putting the second screw and every joint and what have you, double checking all the bolts are tight, and then it got too hot. So we knocked off, it's now, well, sun's getting a bit lower in the sky and we're in the shade here so I'm taking off the where the posts are higher than the all the cross members then I've got to put some bracing in make everything that bit more rigid and I'll probably put some timber bracings on a couple of the uprights as well just to firm everything up uh, and then tomorrow hopefully don't get the uh, rafters on and the tin on. We get in there. Strip of metal. Put this corner to corner between the posts and that just um, increases the rigidity of the structure. I do plan on sharpening these. I do plan on putting um, some timber struts on the uprights to do the same. Day three of the, doing the timber frame. I would like to be able to get it finished today. So I've just got to put the uh, roof battens on and the tin, get all that screwed down. Yeah, we're there. Then get back to pruning. Tin here that came off the roof of our house when we um, redid the roof. For anybody that doesn't know Australia, this tin has been here for two years now, isn't it? Mm. Two years since we. Yeah. 
and things like to live underneath it like long things so they look like a stick but they wiggle so the snakeified stumpy <laughs> come out of it come out of it so you just have to be a little bit aware that there could be something living underneath it cutting tin with an angle grinder will for some reason whether it's a heat or whatever that affects it but it will lead to uh, the tin rusting where you cut with angle grinders cutting with tin snips really hard work going up and down up and down this I find is the easiest way so put a little cut in like a that take hold of vice grips like a that put your foot on there and pull <laughs> okay. Cheers. Shed party. We've topped out. The roof is done. It took four days, which is longer than what I thought. I thought I'd get it done in three days. But technically, I've got to go up again tomorrow because I'm 15 screws short of fastening the roof down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bugger. Anyway, this is our shed extension for packing and loading the trailer and keeping out of the sun when we're cleaning fruit and what have you. And the rain. And the rain. Yeah. yeah. Looks like we've got a beautiful sunset too. Yeah. What time is it? Ooh, ten past six. Oops. <laughs> That's a late one. It's way past the <laughs> o'clock time. Way past my bed. <laughs> my bedtime. <laughs> Yeah, there's been a few early nights, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, folks, thanks so much for watching. Much appreciated. We will see you on the next one. Bye. Bye-bye now.